Hello, family, beautiful and handsome illuminators. Welcome to Illuminate the Oracle. Pardon my shaking. All right, so this is the general for the week. What's the week to come? And I got to tell you, I started this and and it just things got hot real quick and then i just had to pause it because i was dripping all right so we're back um but i just pulled the oracle so let's just go through this real quick <clears throat> dandy dandy water mm. all right so i first pulled mermaids All right, so the first card that came out was actually feelings. All right, feelings. And then it was solitude. And then it was trust. So this made me feel like a, this felt like a first chapter to me. It made me feel like, okay, for someone, I've seen this two ways. For someone, it was like this period of isolation and solitude. Things may have been dark. Things may have felt dark. Um, things may have felt like there was no end to something. But it was your trust. It was your trust in this process, in this solitude, that may have opened you up, may have opened up your feelings. But I feel like whatever has happened here within this time has caused you my collective, whoever this, you know, message is for is not for everybody, you know, um, just take what what resonates and leave the rest. But I feel like this time has activated like this complete opposite energy for you. Like, look at the difference between the lightness of this, these cards and sort of the darkness of these cards. So this looks like an awakening here, you know. And it was through this process of like relaxation in your own energy and focused on what it is that you want to curate, how you want to heal and love on yourself, how you want to spend your time, the ways in which you say no, you know, whatever it is that feels right for you. You know, it's like activating this sort of innate positivity in yourself because you've asked for help. And asking for help, sure. I mean, like sometimes it could, this could be talking about physical people, the help of physical people, but um, she's looking to the sky. So she's been tapping in and communicating with her spiritual team, with Father, uh, with Divine Mother, and her angels. And it's activated, it's, 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 it's activated something within, within. Um, but it's interesting. I feel like because of this activation for you, my collective, it may have left others a little bit in the dark now. Mm. It's like, this is the place in which you were. And it could have been very much truthful that nobody was coming to save you from this darkness. Nobody was coming. It was you, not not physically, not a physical person, right? You know, nobody was concerned about it when you was in this place, in this place, you know, to yourself. But now that you're out of it, whomever is connected to your energy, but not everyone that's connected to your energy. I feel like only those individuals who are connected to your energy that allowed, that left you in your feelings in the past, that made you nervous or feel like you couldn't trust them. These people who are who probably even wanted you to be isolated, you know, so nobody could see your magic, right? They probably wanted you to be in the space, but your activation, you dealing through this experience through that tunnel has left these people in this space it's so interesting okay all right so then i pulled activation cards um 
and they all came out purple. Um, beautiful, beautiful cards. So I'm gonna just show you how they look. At does this not look like a, 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 a goddamn activation to you? Look at all that. All right, so the first one says stellar gateway activation, infinite potential, manifestation vortex. You can manifest anything you want to right now, babies. You're opening yourself. You've opened yourself up to that. Look at that opening. There's an opening right there. <laughs> you can manifest what you wish at this time. Run toward it. All right. So this one is uh, Seraphim's Gateway. Voice activation, angelic attunement, and divine support. Whatever it is that you need to communicate right now, I feel like there's a significance into it, but it's going to be personal for everybody if this correlates at all. But whatever it is that you need to communicate, know that you are divine. You are guided. You know, don't think that you're alone in putting your words together. Anything that even comes up in and throughout you right now is very divided, very div uh, guided. It's very divinely guided. It's like I don't know if your angels are working through you right now, but that could also be utilized in creative in a creative sense as well spiritual creative where they're creating building um whatever it is is going to be heavily connected to the universe and it's it's going to be inspired i feel like real inspired creations from this and the last one was important and yes uh star being star being healing codes important information Wounds are healed, recharging, star being, healing codes, accessing your codes, your soul codes, soul talent, soul skills from all the lifetimes. I feel like all this was gain in this sort of dark period. People could have thought that you was going to just, just languish and just die off in that darkness, but that darkness is gonna take you down when in fact, it ignited you, my star beings. And I feel like that is what's leaving those very same people that wish that on you. They find themselves in the same darkness that you overcame. I pray they know how to do it, you know? I pray they know how to do it. But you, you figured it out. You got the codes, whoever I'm talking to, you got the codes. All right. So let's um, break out tarot. Let's see what is happening. Okay. Also, <laughs> if you like my vibe, please like and subscribe. Uh, it's been an amazing week. <laughs> Um, talking to a lot of you guys who are finding me now, um, is really, you know, been a, a boost and a lift. So, you know, welcome. If you're new here, uh, don't be afraid to share my, my shiz out there. Um, if you feel, you know, motivated to, um, but it's just, uh, welcome family. I love, I love being able to talk to you guys, um, and connecting with you guys. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are saying some of the most beautiful things, really. All right, so what does collective... Oh, wait, okay. Woo! Father God, Divine Mother, please cover me my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive today. Any, mess, any ill intent or evil eye energy sent our way is immediately blocked and returned back to sender a thousand times over. Bind it in their energy so they can never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So what does my collective need to know this coming week? Page of Wands. So it's like, you know, you could be really, you could really just be hmm, in this discovery period. I think maybe, um, I just always think inner child when I see Page of Wands. It's like, um, we learn pride as we go along. We learn to be apprehensive to new experiences, to 
be apprehensive about being a student in life again. And Paige Wands is like not afraid to be a student in life, not afraid to be to being brand new to situations and just allowing creation to happen. Um, I do feel like you're in this sort of inner child self-discovery kind of mode right now that you should be driving off with, right? A side message, somebody could also <laughs> be connected to your energy that could be feeling like they're ready to discover you, like they're ready to be a student. They're, I heard they're ready to be your student. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Somebody could just be really finally open to getting to know who you are truly and learning about you. So that could be the case as well. Not a wants at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be very passionately motivated to getting to know more about you. I don't know. What's happening here? My collective? Oh, that's to me. Okay, what does my collective need to know for this coming week? Oh, wait. Okay, so Knight of um, Swords in the reverse. And Five of Pentacles. Okay. This feels like it's happening outside of your energy. But I do feel like, oh, pardon me. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to have to cool myself down. It's, it's a hot day here where I am. Um, and I can't utilize this. My AC is right here. <laughs> so I can't use it right now. Um, you may have left somebody out in the cold because they weren't making any moves in your direction. If this is anybody that's connected to your energy, it's like you could have been, you could be in this element or this this energy of being exploratory and open to being a student. If you felt like in the past it just wasn't enough, you weren't making enough movements, and it could have left you feeling out missing some opportunities, perhaps. Um, and I feel like if that's the case, if this is you, that's dead and gone. That era of kind of. Um, bad talking yourself, trying to so talk yourself off a ledge when your angels is telling you take that step. Um, I feel like that, that part of you is dead and gone. You know, pour some liquor to that person because they're dead and gone. Um, but if this is somebody connected to your energy, I'm seeing somebody who's looking to be a student in your studies collective as it pertains to you. <laughs> because they realized they weren't moving and they feel left out in the cold in your life now, which is what we actually, we, all, we already kind of talked about, touched on in the beginning as well. All right, so let's see what else is happening here that the collector needs to be aware of. Okay, okay. Because there was just a lot of options, you know? You know, you could have in the past been afraid to move due to the different options or the different ways that you could go about something and it could have left you in a sort of um analysis paralysis about it again that's dead and gone right but if this isn't you and if somebody's connected to your energy this was the reason that kept this person inactive from you or unable to make move toward you because they had all the options in the world you know i don't know if they just wanted to make you just one um an option Something going on with this ear right now. It's like I can hear myself. It's like plugged. And I can just hear myself talking. I don't know how that's significant. Um, but I feel like... Whatever this, this, whatever this confusion was, has left somebody feeling um, blocked off and in their head. So whether that's you, my collective, or somebody that's connected to your energy. Um, let's see, what else am I collecting to know? What's this Knight of Swords? Yeah, three of, of cups here. So a reunion or some sort of, some sort of reunion or reconnection um, wasn't able to, it never made a move. It never, it never 
um, happened, I think was due to this person being occupied. But now whomever this is, yeah, somebody's in hermit mode. I feel like at the same time that you're coming out of your own hermit mode, you're sending somebody else into a hermit mode. <laughs> you're sending somebody else into the darkness because, you know, um, I could be talking to my oracles, my oracles, queen, high priestess. Um, there's something that you know now. There's something that you know now, but you're keeping to yourself about every relation, every connection that you were in, what it did for you, what happened. I just think you're just so awake to it now because you're awake to a lot of things on the soul level, a lot of soul skills and some soul memories. Um, are going to come to you now in your dreams, in your daydreams, as you zone off. Um, things could just come to you. Like, you're just like, why am I, why do I have an urge to do that? Why do I have an urge to learn that? Why do I have an urge to pick up that skill? Because you're obtaining a lot of soul things. Like, you're going to pick up those things and you're going to try them for the first time, expecting to flop. And you're going to be just like, why am I not flopping at this? I never did this. I never did this before. Um, but that's because you, you thought you never did it before, but you have. You're connected to it. But I also feel like whomever, as it pertains to your energy, wasn't following their own intuition as it pertained to you, now is, is in hermit mode. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure out your energy as it pertains to them. Okay. Um, Let's do small tarot, just to get clarified, clarifies, darling, on the cards that dropped. Because um, I just want to be sure that I'm saying what I'm saying. All right, so page of wands first. <laughs> Look at these little, cute, these little keys. Uh, Ace of wands, so new beginnings. Look how cute they are. All right, let's see. Am I dripping yet? Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Talking to my fingers. <laughs> okay. What is this page wand energy? Ooh, boy. Three of cups. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So now we got two, three of cups. I feel like a lot of people are interested in what you up to. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are interested in what you're up to. Um, you could have left a couple of folks in the darkness here. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people want a reunion with you or a reconnection with you. Um, I also feel like if this is somebody specific, boy, did they have options. It's like I feel like they wanted to bring something. They wanted to bring a connection or clarify something to you or celebrate. Bring a reason to celebrate to you. But I feel like this person is, is celebrating with a whole bunch of folks. They just had this energy of um, busybody energy. Um, maybe they always find a reason to celebrate with somebody about something. But um, I do feel like it's something that you moved away from with the Eight of, of Cups showing here. Whatever this is, I'm feeling lifestyle. Whatever this lifestyle was, Rather, if somebody tried to, I don't know, put you in a, um, put you in the rotation, it's like, nah, you like, nah, nah, son, that's not my, that's, that's not my lifestyle. I love telling some, I love telling people that's not my lifestyle because people love to tell that shit to me. All right. So five of pentacles. All right. Five of pentacles. What is five of pentacles for my collective? Hermit energy. We're getting a lot of duplicates here. We're getting a lot of duplicates here. Spirit said it is what it is. It's, it's, you said what you said. You are bringing, you brought some folks in. You are bringing folks into their own hermit mode. How are you bringing people into the darkness? That wasn't, that wasn't our intention. 
Oh my goodness! You coming out of your darkness is sending people into their own darkness. For my oracles out here, I feel like you're going to be utilized. You're going to be utilized. If you're sending people into their own darkness and activating their own shadow phase, then you're going to be called to... You're going to be called to be of assist, a be of a, a sage, as a, as a uh, someone who understands because not a lot of people are going to understand going through a dark night of the soul. You know, it takes a certain kind of individual. So you may be used as a resource. You may be used as like a, an aid when this person or these people come out of it. But I mean, that's only if you felt, you know, that calling and directed to, you know, some of these people may have lost you forever. You know, so that's going to be up to you to kind of decipher between who's a forever lockout and who's a lockout just until you see true change. You know, that's going to be I can't tell you that <laughs> that's going to be different for everybody. So what's confusing? I'm going to get this. What's confusing in the seven of cups here? What is my collective need to know about what's confusing here? Oh, yeah, that's too many. Ooh, OK, what's confusing here? That you're that you're single. <laughs> Somebody's feeling like, yo, I love a collective single. I love a collective in their own energy, in their own bag. I left them alone for just just a, a little bit. I just left them alone just for a little bit. Just a little just a, just a, just a little bit of time. I thought. I thought. But look at what they did over there. Look at what they doing over there. They probably got their little pet there. They got the little garden. <laughs> They're not crying over me. They're not obsessing over me. They're not buzzing my line. They're not up in my DMs. They outside. <laughs> Somebody's like real. Somebody who tried to make you an option is real kind of perturbed that, um, that you have so much power in your self that you can just be to yourself. That you can just be by yourself. And that you don't need a gang gang to, to you don't need a crew, right? You, you the crew, you don't need a crew. I feel like this person, whomever is connected to your energy, they're used to having a crew. Like we got three of, of cups twice. and the seven of cups whomever is connected to your energy they don't know what it's like to be this they don't know what it's like to be this they're used to getting outside validation if this girl's getting outside validation she's getting it from mother nature she's getting it for father she's probably getting it for her bird but that's the list that's the list Woo! we're gonna have to cut this pretty short because boy burning up my heart is like burning up oh my goodness sage everything y'all um any energies that you're feeling right now that feel heavy to you and they don't feel like you return it back to sender father this energy is not mine please return any energy around me that's not mine back to sender any return please return any energy that's not mine back to sender thank you father to call your energy back to you. My energy is divine and blessed. Please, I call my energy back to me purified and blessed. My energy is mine. I call my energy back to me purified and blessed. My energy is mine. I call my energy back to me purified and blessed. And so it be. And so it be. Because I feel like somebody's going through some things that don't involve you. I feel like you've been through this. I feel like whatever it is, you've been through it. You know? Um, okay. Should I clarify this hermit? We already got hermit. 
<laughs> Verb will be significant to you guys as well. Um, cause, uh, yeah, that's the hermit energy. All right. Uh, what's hermit? Let me see this hermit. What's, oh, yeah. Six of wands in the reverse. So, ah. <sighs> I don't know if somebody's tried to like if their attempt was to conquer you or to control you, but they just don't feel like they were successful in that. And they've been called, they've called themselves into hermit mode as a way to kind of it's like if collective's not fucking with me, there gotta be something wrong with me. That's what it is. Okay. That's what it is. It's like if collective is not is not messing with me, then there has to be something wrong with me because collective is not a weird, like a collective people love collective people. People love you. People like you. People know that you're not funny acting. People know that you are who you say you are. Regardless of what people like to say here and there when they're in modes of projection, they know that you don't flip up. You don't switch up. You are who you are. And I don't say that because some people say they are who they are and they're a dick. <laughs> I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. People know who you are, who you are, but they gravitate to you. Right. Because you have this very mothering or mother nature kind of comforting vibe to you that people are always going to gravitate to. So. You know, that pays you never mind. You let you give out, you know, you like to give out. But I feel like in this era of time, you could be very well trying to figure out, okay, all right, I it's very easy for me to give. And then I'm just a dispensary. And so I need to I need to calm it back and make sure what have I given to myself today? You know, and what am I receiving from these interactions? Can I am I receiving anything from these interactions or from or, or am I left feeling depleted? And, and ravaged, you know, there is a difference, you know, sometimes you leave social interactions with people and you feel just as lifted as, as ever. And sometimes you leave interactions with people and you feel just as drained as ever. So it's an important time, especially in this day and time to distinguish between those two. Um, I feel like you got a lot of people in their feelings right now. Mm hmm. <laughs> Let's pull the originals real quick. Um, ending messages. Um, Cause um, when I start channeling, if it's not cold, <laughs> I can't even, uh, I just start dripping. And then I'll go do something else and I'll be perfectly fine, cold. Just like, <laughs> I don't know. All right, so last messages. Action, awareness, something is coming in. So beware, don't be scared, just beware. Something's coming in. Something's coming toward you. Oh, crap, no. I'll take this one and I'll bring the rest on, okay. So the card that I did take was Okay, so some of y'all have to be aware. You may have some toxic family members. Um, it says, so I have put a sticker on here that says, I believe in you, but I put it upside down. So, you know, whomever didn't believe in you in the past are going to have to eat their words in the future. Whomever didn't believe in you in the past is going to have to eat their words in the future. But just, you know, pay attention. There ain't nothing to call out. You know, it's just about paying attention to people's actions and how they move. And then you moving accordingly. So it don't matter. Just pay attention. All right. Anything else? I feel like, you know. Wow. That one just went into. I'm not going to search for that. Um. Some of you have since probably sent some family members into darkness. That could have been some of the people that who see you coming out of light are shocked by it, unsettled by it, 
and has forced them into a darkness. That don't just have to be like a ex lover or ex associate or ex friend. That could also be family members as well. You'd be kind of surprised, you know. Not every family member is going to have your back like that. Um, a lot of people play roles to you specifically, and it's really not about the surface. It's really not about someone's title in your life. It's really not about what they say to you on the surface. It's really about how you feel around them and how you've always felt around them. That's going to tell the tale. Okay. Um, somebody wants you to know that you're always in their dreams, but it does say, beware of demons. At this point in time, because you're a lantern. <laughs> you are just the glowing. You are just the glowing. And so, you know, you got folks paying attention. So beware of these demons. This is, we got narcs. We got remove yourself. Frequency changes. Energy vampires. I feel like these are people who no longer have access to your energy and they feel you. They feel your energy just like rising. They don't like that shit. They sent them into their own darkness, their own shadow self. So beware of this. I feel like some people could be trying to come through or connect with you this week. Um, And I'm being called to inform you just to kind of be in Inspector Gadget mode. Inspector Gadget! <laughs> you know, just kind of like, you know, be in your Inspector Gadget mode. You know, kind of just case the joint. Case these interactions. You know, pay attention to how people respond, whether it's dry or not. Maybe you had some accomplishments. Um, And you communicate these accomplishments and maybe there's just like a dryness to the response. Like, oh my God, good for you. Good for you. Like you can tell, you can feel it in your gut. Whether someone's happiness is a genuine happiness or if it's like a slight hesitation or a dryness, if it's just dry, if it's just like leaves you feeling like that was nothing. It probably was exactly nothing. It probably was something else. Whoever I'm talking to, <laughs> whatever you've activated within yourself, you're going to be awakened to all the people who never wanted this to happen for you, who never wanted you to discover yourself. They wanted you to be in this confusion. They wanted you to languish in this darkness for the entirety of your life. But you focusing on yourself, you took that energy and focused in on yourself kept to yourself, refound yourself, rediscovered yourself, um, and have awakened. And now you, I feel like you're communicating or creating something that's really going to make people feel like, where the hell they find that? How the hell they do that? How did that happen? Beware, keep your boundaries. Beware, keep your boundaries. Um, and be Inspector Gadget. Figure out what's going on. Figure out what's going on over here. All right. Until next time, people. I love you. If nobody told you they love you, fuck them. I love you. All right. Um, until next time, please take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm.